Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this edition, we're going to do a little bit of follow up with the laser on the Probotic Fireball V90. One of the things in the last video is I was going through um, running into some issues with the uh, unit dwelling at uh, uh, certain points, and basically, what I came to discover from searching the internet, the dwell is uh, related to the spindle speed since uh, under Gerbil 9, and I think I've done another post on it, uh, it, it seems that when you issue a, a spindle change command that it dwells to allow the time for the spindle to spin down, spin back up, so it's about a minute that it'll dwell after waiting for that, so apparently that's just intrinsic in, in, in uh, Garble itself. So uh, that's a little bit of a problem because every time it does a rapid, it, it waits for a minute before engaging again. And then, you know, I mean, between each part, it's a minute, it's a minute, it's a minute. So if you've got ten parts, it's ten minutes of just dwell while the laser is sitting there running for, for a full minute. Um, <clears throat> so what I decided to do, and I wanted to do it anyway, and I didn't know how simple it was going to be, um, I basically used the spindle pulse width modulation out of garble feeding it into the the TTL port of the laser board which is located over here so basically the outside is ground the inside is hot and I'm just using um, some temporary uh, Arduino jumpers to do this and so basically what I did is I wired uh, I just want to go back and look a uh, quick second um, on 9, I wired the hot into, or the positive, into pin 11, which, if I'm looking here, is um, the vari variable spindle, spindle, for the cold here, having a bit of a hard time talking, uh, PWM, pulse width modulation. So I can now use the S command to change the intensity, actually to turn the beam on or off. Now, I would not suggest this as a safety mechanism, because we'll take a look at this in a second because you can issue an S0 basically turning the laser practically off but it's not really off as in if you issue the M3 command over here and the relay turns the power supply on and off so I'm going to move the camera around so you can you can see the laser beam here so so the laser beam is located right about here so Right now I have it set to S10, so if I set it to S254, which is the maximum, then I, whoops, i got to be in the right program to do that, Joe. Uh, so if I issue 254, you see the beam gets much brighter. Uh, wow, it did get brighter even in the camera. And then if I issue an S0, basically the beam goes away. I still wouldn't stick my hand in here, but as you can see, it's not reflecting off anything. So I'm hoping, I'm going to try using S0 as the stop and, and uh, S255 as being the start command uh, to start and stop the uh, uh, laser instead of uh, M3. I'll use M3 at the start of the program and then I'll have it jog to its position. I'll let it dwell and then I will use um, M4 at the end to turn it off, just just for just for safety's sake. But uh, one of the things, if if you can probably see here, the in, this this LED on the driver board grows and fades with intensity. So if you notice again, this is this is I've got it at zero. So there is still power going to that diode, just very very little bit, not enough to really articulate something, but there is power. And if again I go back here, and again watch, watch the LED as I issue a 254. Um, yeah, it doesn't brighten too much. It does do a little bit. I was thinking it would do more than that, but it doesn't do too much. I'm not sure you can even see that in the camera. Uh, anyways, um, hopefully this this tip helps. Uh, again, I was kind of pulling my hair out a little bit, but again, the internet solved the problem. There's a I don't know, I wouldn't call it a bug, but um, one of the maintainers 
uh, of Garble had put that in a post. Uh, somebody else had posted that they were using um, M3 and M4 to toggle the laser and that there was a dwell. And so apparently this is the uh, problem. So anyways, hopefully this helped you out. And uh, if you did, uh, please hit, whoops, great spot, like below, subscribe to the channel. There will be much more coming out. I'm still working on the uh, laser build. And so we'll have a lot more stuff on laser cutting. I'm also going to do a tutorial on um, on a preprocessor for Cut 2D to uh, uh, run the laser to. And uh, so I can use uh, my Cut 2D program. Uh, you kind of notice back here I was experimenting with cutting some stuff out of 1, 2, 3, make. Uh, does a very good job. I just haven't figured out how to change the slot size. While I change it in the program, it doesn't seem to actually change it in the cutout. So uh, I guess some more challenges there.